Hello and welcome to Y Quanta's YouTube channel in the tradition of solving the great book of puzzles and teasers by George S. Summers. Here I am Abhishek Lila Pandey with a solution to the next problem that is Val, Lynn and Chris. Let's see. Oh, it says Val, Lynn and Chris are related to each other but not incestuously. Alright. First statement is among the three or Val's father, Lynn's only daughter and Chris's sibling. Second statement says Chris's sibling is neither Val's father nor Lynn's daughter. So, which one is of a different sex from the other two? One thing is for sure. If one is father, it has to be male. Daughter, it has to be female. And the sibling or the whatever, we don't know. Okay. And we need to, so basically there can be two males and one female or two females and one male. And if the, the first case is true, like two males and one female, that female is who will be the answer. And second case, if there are two females, then the person who is male will be the correct answer. By the way, to solve these questions, I have developed, or maybe not developed, traditionally we use some kind of uh, uh, symbols to denote males and females and other relations. So for that, you need to, this problem in itself, is a problem which can actually help you in a lot of other puzzles. In CAT, we don't have blood relations. Uh, in other exams, we have blood relations, other management exams. But at the same time, if there's a huge puzzle in CAT in which there is some kind of blood relation, this might help you. So, how to do that? First of all, we denote a male by a box. This is a male. And write the name of the male inside the box. A female by a circle, write the name inside, that's a female. So far, so good. Now, there are many kind of relations between people. The relations are like this. Parent, child. That's one relation, isn't it? Other is relation between two spouse or we can say husband and wife. Husband, wife. That's another relation. And also, see, this arrow, downward arrow, will be denoting a child. Alright, that is the symbols that I'll be using. Husband, wife, two people are married to each other. This, I'll be using a symbol which will look like this. An elongated equal to, like parallel lines, there'll be husband, wife. So, just you need to, you know, kind of note it down somewhere. That is what you'll be using so as to avoid any kind of confusion. Otherwise, if you do not use the symbology here, you'll get stuck. We keep on writing things, okay, this is the father, this is the mother, this is that, 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 that. At one moment of time, you will forget yourself what you wrote. That is why there should be established symbols for everything. Okay, what relation do we have it's apart from these two? Parent to child, husband, wife, people are married, siblings. Okay, so let's say two, that two, two siblings will be using this kind of relation. A and B are siblings. By the way, siblings can be <coughs> both uh, sisters, both brothers, brother, sister. And depending on who is brother, who is sister, we'll use, let's say A is the brother. So I'll just use here like this and B is the sister. I'll use like this. So this is, this male and female will get, will get you your gender of the relationship. Uh, if it's a parent, a male parent, a male parent would be father. A female parent would be mother. A male sibling will be brother. A female sibling will be sister. Cool. Spouse, a male spouse will be husband, female spouse will be the wife. Based on these three basic relations, every other relation in the world can be determined, isn't it? Grandfather, mother-in-law, brother-in-law, all that stuff we can determine. Nice. By the way, tell me in the comments if you don't knew this already. Okay, let's try to solve this question. Among the three are Val's father. So there's a person called Val and he has a father. So Val is the child and father will be a male. We don't know who is it. So from the first, this condition, I know, okay. Val is a child for sure and there must be one father of Val, which can be Lynn or Chris. <coughs> okay. So it says, one is Lynn's only daughter. So this is Lynn. Lynn has only one daughter. Daughter, that means... It's a female, we don't know who is it. Okay, so I left the, this uh, circle. And I don't know the uh, gender of Val or Lynn yet. And Chris's sibling. So this is Chris. Chris got a sibling, right? A sibling. 
we don't know gender of Chris nor the sibling. We don't know. We don't really know. Coming to the second statement, <coughs> Chris's sibling, Chris's sibling, okay, is neither Val's father. Chris's sibling, who the sibling is? Let's say sibling is uh, 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 what? A star. Okay. Chris's sibling. This for sake of symbology. Chris's sibling is neither Val's father nor Lynn's daughter. Wow. There's one thing for sure. You know what? That is, if if Chris's sibling is not Val's father, then who can be Val's father? It can be, it can be either Lynn, and that is kind of common sense, like Lynn or Chris, because we have three people only. So if Val is here, Lynn Chris must be there. <clears> That's the very same time. If Lynn is there, here we can have Val or Chris. But this third, this third condition will be giving us enough uh, data to answer the question, which means now you need to understand. If Chris's sibling is Lynn, it can't be here. It can't be because Chris's sibling is neither Val's father nor Lynn's daughter. So if Chris's sibling is Lynn, Lynn can't be here. Lynn can't be here. Obviously, Lynn can't be here because Lynn is already there. So what needs to be done? What can we do? What can we do? Let's think more. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So in these two, what is common? The common is Chris. So if Chris comes here and Chris comes here, it would be violating the condition that this person is a male, this person is a female. So Chris can't be here and here, that is for sure. Then what that mean? What does that mean? Chris can't be in both the positions. So what can be? If here we have Lynn, the father, Val, will be the child, son or daughter, we don't know yet. And Lynn has come here. Lynn has come here. Okay. So here we can have Val, we can have Chris also. So Lynn has come here already. So now combining this condition, Lynn, Lynn must be having a daughter as well, which can be Val or Chris. Can be Val or Chris? Hmm. Val is already there. So if Val is the daughter, Chris is the son. Is that clear? Let's do that. So I'll write Chris over here. This arrangement is perfect. Looks good. The other arrangement is, what if I put here, Chris here, from this, and here we have Val. And Lynn, Lynn is the parent of Val from here. We can say that, which also means that Lynn will be, Lynn can be, the mother of Val and Chris and Lynn might be married. One, one, one arrangement. <clears throat> what is Val? We don't know. Val is son, daughter. We don't really know. Do we know that? Okay, let me write all of it and then we'll determine. So either this or this is correct. Either this or this is correct. This is Chris's sibling. Chris's sibling is not, Chris's sibling is neither Val's father nor Lynn's daughter. So Chris's sibling. Chris, is, Chris doesn't have a sibling over here. Okay. So, <clears throat> second condition is irrelevant in this. Okay. Now, let us check. Among the three are Val's father. We have a father of Val, that is Lynn. Lynn's only daughter. So, Chris will be... Uh, and Chris's sibling. Lynn's only daughter and Chris's sibling. Okay. Okay. This is true. And here, among three are Val's father. Val has a father, that is Chris. Lynn's only daughter, that means uh, Val will be, Val will be a female, being a daughter, and Chris's sibling. Chris has got no sibling over here. That means this case is violated. We can't have that. This case is true, for sure. Well, now, <coughs> Chris's sibling, that is Val, is neither Val's father, obviously it's Val, the sibling, nor Lynn's daughter. So Chris's sibling is Val, this condition, the first one, neither Val's father is irrelevant now because Val is the Chris's sibling. So if this condition is invalid, then second, nor Lynn's father, nor Lynn's, nor Lynn's daughter. So Val is not Lynn's daughter. That means Chris is the daughter of Lynn because Lynn has only one daughter 
and the only one order the other child will be son this is the correct arrangement wow it's a nice question lynn is the father of val and chris both val is the son chris is the daughter by the way chris sounds like a male name but that is what logical reasoning is all about which one is a different sex from the other two obviously it's chris chris is female lynn and val are males nice i hope you enjoyed the solution check the next one thank you